All right, Mike, we were just talking about longevity, but you're the first NFL player with over 1,000 yards in each of your first eight seasons, which is incredible. But what if I would have told you that that would have been the case in 2014 when you were first drafted? What would you have said to me? I would have said it's doable, but um, it's never been done before. So, I mean, it would have been unlikely, but I was definitely confident uh, when I was young. What would you say has allowed you to have consistency and longevity, the productivity that you've had over the last eight years of your career? Well, it's a combination of a lot of things. Um, you know, take, learning how to take care of my body, uh, learning how to train in the off season, uh, eating the right things. Cause I, I was a big guy coming in. I was got up to 245 plus pounds and I was way too much weight for a wide receiver, even though I'm six, five, um, I found the right weight to play at. And, uh, you know, I, I play with really great players, you know, guys that helped me, you know, get to this position. So it's a combination of a lot of things. I can't help but ask, what did you have to give up in order to get the weight down? What did you have to stop eating? I really, I'm, my diet's not that crazy. You know, I hired a, a private chef. He makes everything organic. So it's definitely lighter foods. But whenever I'm, I'm feeling a Five Guys burger or some pizza, I'm, I'm gonna do it. So probably like on a, on a Friday, like today, or like an off day on a Monday, I'll eat, you know, some some pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Let's talk about uh, having Tom Brady on the sideline with you. I want to go back to you catching the 600th touchdown and then immediately giving it to the fans. Um, how much flack did you get for that in the aftermath? A lot. I mean, some people took it too serious, but. Uh... It was all fun. You know, the, the guy, uh, he got a lot of cool stuff out of it. Um, made, made, made for good TV, good entertainment. So that's the funny part of it. But Tom Brady in his press conference, he calls you dependable, uh, the guy that he knows that he can rely on. What's it like to hear him give you praise like that from a guy who is widely considered the greatest of all time at the quarterback position? I mean, it's something I don't take for granted. I mean, I used to be a kid, uh, fourth, fifth grade, watching, you know, my Indianapolis Colts. You know, I'm a huge Peyton Manning fan, and I'm watching Tom Brady beat up on the on the Colts, and he's making me cry as a kid. I was a very passionate kid when it came to sports, and uh, now he's giving me coaching lessons, and he's throwing me the ball. He's my quarterback, and uh, you know, we're, we're trying to win championships together, and um, it's very surreal. Uh, when I look back on it, it's going to be awesome. What would you say is something that you've learned from him? If you had to give one takeaway, it would be what? Mm, so many things. Um, number one, it's two things. I'm, I'm going to say two things. Uh, take care of my body. Um, I learned a lot from him um, in the short time that I've been with him. Um, I have a different outlook on how long I want to play now. Um, and just... Don't get tired of doing the little things because when it's done, it's done. And he never takes anything for granted. Um, he, he works uh, as hard as anybody. And uh, it's a reason why he is who he is. It seems as though, you know, it's a little bit different from a season ago. You guys are the reigning Super Bowl champions, but you've had to deal with some incredible adversity when you see, you know, Chris Godwin go down. In the wide receiver room, what's the discussion when a primary ball catcher will no longer be able to compete with you? I mean, losing a guy like Chris, I mean, you know, he was a huge part of our team. Playmaker, great teammate, just gets the job done, blue collar worker. And uh, losing a guy like that is definitely going to hurt. But, you know, the season has to go on. And, uh, you know, it gives us more motivation because we want to win it for him. So, I mean, losing a guy like that was a huge blow. But, um, you know, we still got work to do, and uh, guys have to step up. And you personally, uh, even more of the weight of an offense does come to you. What is the adjustment, your mentality, that you have to have knowing that he's down? I'll always keep the same uh, mentality, uh, Maria. I mean, I always, you know, try, try my best. Uh, I work my tail off. Uh, when the ball comes my way, I try to make the play, try to get involved in the run game, and try to be the best teammate leader I can be. I mean, I've always been like that, uh, regardless of who is in or out. And it seems like you've always been like that, regardless of whether or not the team is having a ton of success or you're winning a Super Bowl. 
I mean, you've been in Tampa Bay your entire career. You were there through the lean years, essentially. Yeah. So describe what it was like when you were grinding. You're a three-time Pro Bowl. You're still having 1,000-yard seasons, but you're not seeing the outcome you would like to see in the record book. I mean, it was, it was tough. You know, um, obviously, I'm, I'm super blessed uh, to be in this position. I mean, regardless of winning or losing, but it's one of the things I hate the most, uh, hate the most is losing. And uh, we were doing that, you know, for six years straight. And uh, it was tough, man, not being able to be in the playoff contention. And because these last two years being in the playoffs, is, it's no greater feeling. Uh, it's a different type of football. Uh, it's where the, the big time players really, you know, step up and show out. So I've always wanted to be in this position. Uh, and I'm grateful that I'm in this position now. And hopefully, um, you know, I can stay here until my career is over. How does going through the first six years with no postseason play to being the last two seasons, now you've been to the postseason, how does it make it that much sweeter? Um, it makes it so much, uh, it makes it worth it. I mean, I never really, six seasons in a row, and these are long NFL seasons, and not to touch the postseason, uh, it was terrible. And I, and I know what it feels like now, and uh, it definitely was worth the wait. And, uh, you know, like I said, hopefully, you know, every year, the rest of my career, I can, you know, be in the playoffs. All right, let's talk about the, the Rams. So you guys fall to them in L.A. What was your takeaway when you watched that film back um, and something that you can take forward in the divisional round this weekend? Oh, we got to make more plays. Uh, they're a really talented team, really talented team. Uh, they stack up well against us. Uh, we have to be the most physical team, uh, first of all. I mean, if we're the most physical team, I think we'll win the game. Uh, got to play smart ball. And we just got to execute a little bit better early on. Uh, I feel like in the second half, we did a decent job. But we got to come out swinging in the first half and execute. What's it like going up against a guy like Jalen Ramsey? Uh, one of the best players in, uh, at his position and one of the best players in the game. I mean, it, it's a challenge that every uh, competitor wants. And, uh, you know, hopefully we get, a, we get to see a lot of each other uh, come Sunday. What would you say is the the workout that you do every single day, the thing that makes you have such great hands and has allowed you to have some of the success? I'm always interested in what wide receivers do um, to make sure that they can consistently make the catch when it matters. It's a lot. It's a lot of repetition. I mean, I've caught in over no hundreds balls, of thousands you're not of doing passes. Like the random. <laughs> I've done. I've done all those drills at some point, uh, but right now. Mm -hmm. I just, I just catch, I just catch normal routes. I mean, when I run my routes, mm -hmm. I just focus. Uh, but I've definitely done all the tennis balls, practicing over the shoulder catches, laying down, catching the ball, and things like that. But you know, now is when I'm doing routes on air or when the receiver coach is throwing me the ball. I just always frame it. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to ask you about after you got your Super Bowl ring. We all remember you just passing it off to the fans and <laughs> letting other people try it on. <laughs> it seems like you're really bonded to the city. Yeah. How would you describe just the relationship you have with your fan base and being able to play a home postseason divisional game, what that means to you? Well, first, those were that was family and friends. So this was like right after COVID. Oh, okay. And it was it was family and friends. So I knew most like a, ha half of those people I was getting the rings to, uh, letting, the, letting people wear my ring. Half of those people, I knew them. So, you know, I'm not I'm not that crazy. But uh, it's it's great that we're able to have, you know, this – this, this past week, we had the first home playoff game, and now we got this one. And, uh, you know, it's great for the fans. I mean, they put on an unbelievable uh, showing last week, and uh, they had the stadium rocking. And, um, you know, Tampa, it's, it's been a great place to me. Been been great to my family as well. And then last question, it's about Cooper Cup, because the only guy that had more receiving touchdowns this season than you is him. So what have you yeah. seen from him when you do get a chance to just watch him play? a complete player um doesn't really talk much just gets the job done um contested catch routes are unbelievable he can do the dirty work and block run after catch uh deep deep balls can catch the deep balls he can do it all complete player and it's a reason why you know he got the triple crown this year and did you tell brady that he made you cry um when you were younger beating your guy yeah I yeah, yeah, I told him. I told him about it. Um, he's cool with it. He's, he's heard it all before. 
Well, it kind of makes up for it. You guys have a Super Bowl ring together. Yeah, he does. It's all good now. Sure. Yeah, he helped me get the Super Bowl, so we're good. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, Mike. This was good. I'm glad you made the time. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.